Good morning, everyone. I am at it again, so we're going to get this party started early. So I am making a big 26 and a half inch reef in a quilt form. I had leftover mesh, and that's what I'm doing. I'm utilizing the mesh I had left over because I do not want to throw it, it away. So we have two layers on here. This is a part two right here. So it's two layers. Yesterday I said I wanted to fill this in a little bit. This middle so my sign can fit in here. Nice and, you know, up high. So what I'm going to do this morning, I am going to start from the inside adding some mesh to fill this circle in a little bit. So let's get this party started. And what we're gonna need, we're gonna need some wire cutters, scissors, zip ties. And occasionally I'm gonna use my wood burner to burn the fray ends on the, the mesh. So let's get started. I need to really finish this up because I got some orders to fill. And I don't want to. Delay on that. So we're starting from this intersection adding. It don't matter where you start at. You know, you're just starting in the intersection. Just remember what mesh you started with. Now, this is gonna be a little challenging right here, measurement, since I'm starting that way. Let me find a piece of tape so I can tape. Where the line is for this uh, measurement. What did I do with my tape? Let's use red so we can see better. Just a little piece to do. I would take right there on that mark. Oh, maybe I should have put two pieces. Because I'm going to go, I am going to go. I'm thinking I'm going to go 12 inches again. Let's see. Just move over, over to the next section. And we still going 12 inches. It'll bring that towards that center a little bit to close it in.
I am so glad I thought of this because what in the world would I have done with all of that mesh? Beautiful mesh going to waste. Now, is this going to make 12 inches? I don't think so. Nope. So we're going to have to cut this. can move that Chanel stem out the way. All you want to do is just catch the one that you are ending with. You don't want to interfere with the no other anything. The wreath this big have so much going on. in a little bit. I'll say about a couple of inches. Now we're going to start the Chanel stems are getting really short too so you might have to add some. Okay let's grab another color. Let's grab this purple. You got a lot of Spraying on the ends, we're gonna get that off with our wood burner. When you have a mesh store, this was happen because they all stick into each other. So let's get started. We don't let that drop on the floor. It's pretty long. hoping this Chanel stem is pretty short. I'm hoping I don't have to add another piece in there right now. Okay, we left off with this silver. So let's start with this silver. Adding our purple or lavender. This Chanel stem is really short. Let's see, can we get it in there? All right. It look like it's gonna stay. Let's see, can we move this over just a tiny bit? get the more difficult it seems to be. Let's nip this in the bud right now. 
And some mesh fray more than others. So keep that in mind. You will learn what mesh fray more than other as you go along if you want to be a reef maker. Because they have all types of mesh. I am glad to get rid of this purple. This fraying purple. <sighs> Catching on to my clothes. I had to, uh, mm, can't find it now. I must have my clothes. Only thing on backwards, which is good when I'm working with this mesh. You want to keep your mesh straight out so you can get the right measurement. So it's closing up this hole a little bit. I can see already. And I'm just turning it as I go so I can have that measurement a little bit where I want it. Can't wait to finish with this one. Whatever you do, when you're dealing with this wood burner, make sure when you finish for the day to turn the thing off. I got up this morning, my wood burner was still on. They either just turn the little switch off. If you don't turn it off, make sure you turn the little switches connected to it off, like the outlet. But luckily, I, I keep it in this little bucket, so it ain't going nowhere. But anything can happen. You know, an insect or something come rolling through here and tip it over while you sleeping. Your house on fire. So that's just a, a lesson learned for me. Because I know that wood burner have burnt something while I'm standing up in here. And I know it can... 
it can really do some damage. So that's a lesson learned for me, and I thought I would share that if you mess with wood, bur wood burners. I like this little one because I just started out with it, but I bought me a big one. I never used it before because when I make my signs, I use uh, wood burners a lot. So I said, let me go ahead on and invest in me a big one, but I never used it. I'm acting like I'm scared of it or something. For the people that's just joining, I am making a wreath in a quilt form. I had so much mesh when I first started out making wreaths. I was just buying, 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 and not knowing what I was going to do with it. And as time goes on, and I start learning a little more and a little more, so I'll buy more and more. It just accumulated so much. So I am putting it to some use. And I am using it as making a quilt in a, a wreath in a quilt form. I plan to donate this to some organization. Maybe like a senior citizen's home or... What they call the other one? Senior citizen home and something living. Assistant living home. But this is part three. If you want to see how I started out 
go back and check some of my earlier videos. This is part three. So. More and more dirt. I'm gonna be bringing it around. So. my bottom yeah if you want to know how it started just go back and watch some of my earlier videos and you will see let me see that I miss one that spacing look a little Sometimes you have to look back and make sure you didn't miss one. Getting so much in here till it's hard to see the tape. Well, it look like I'm gonna have enough to I have enough to go around. I'm 
thinking. I'm close to, very close to the end. That'll be nice if I do, but remember, this is an equipped form, so it'll be nice, and it don't have to be nice. glad to get rid of this purple because it's sticking to my clothes really bad I think we had a couple of more to go, but that's fine. I just go ahead and cut that. Get a zip tie. I form that on the flat side. I don't know. I like to hear that little screech when I'm putting on a zip tie because I don't be knowing for sure whether I put it on that flat side or not. So I'm just going to put extra security and put another one there. So y'all heard, heard that? I didn't hear that on the other one. That's why I wanted to put another one. And keep from it having two. I just take the other one off. Go ahead and make that a little shorter so it'll be neater. And left off here. I'm going to need another Chanel stem right there. a few to bring over here because I know I'm going to need some more because this mesh is getting thicker and thicker. And these Chanel stems are 12 inches. So let me try to find the area to put it at. This big 26 and a half, it have three rings. So you're gonna use that middle ring for the top, for the inner and the outer. So okay, let's, so let's start with another one here. I'm gonna try 
to find one with a little bit on it. Let's go with this buffalo check. Yeah, it's not that bad on fraying. It's gonna be sticky though. So we starting where we left off at with this buffalo check. Get that Chanel stem as tight as you can so it don't go anywhere. All right, so let's carry on. I can see my 22 a little bit. I never seen online anywhere where any other reef maker have made a wreath in a quilt farm. That look a little too big. The measurements look like it's a little bit off on this one. And it was. No, because I researched it pretty intensively before I even started this, before this even came to my mind. And I, I didn't run into one. They had quilt something, but it wasn't a quilt wreath. So maybe I'm getting all, giving all the other reef makers some um, ideas. Because the girl, when I first started this, my part one, she emailed me and told me she had a lot of leftover mesh too. And told me she wanted to donate. But I never talked to her again after that. I replied and everything. Maybe she decided to go ahead and make her one in a reef in a quilt farm. Because she never replied back. She said we can meet up somewhere. And I told her where we can meet up at. But she never replied back. So she may be going to keep her mesh. And make her one in a quilt farm. In which I love it. Because I think I'm going to have more than enough. To do what I need to do. Oh, I need another Chanel stem because that one is short. Especially when they get around to these, uh, the ends or the beginnings. You're going to need another Chanel stem there. Because of you folding it and it get thicker. So, let's put it, make sure, okay. And, that, and putting another one at the end section or the beginning section, it'll help with another Chanel stem to go ahead and lay that down even more. But you got to get it tight. Maybe she decided to do her one in um, a quilt form. Oh, 
I'm loving this. Uh, I love this buffalo check. Anything in buffalo check, I love it. Now, see, this is that's probably why I was a uh, little off measurement because of the height. So let's try to pull it as close as we can get it. Let's go ahead and find the other intersection. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at the end right here. All right, yeah, this will, this will be my last one. section and I hate to I don't think it'll matter because I'm gonna use this uh, buffalo check since it's so small I'm gonna put it on there it don't make sense to cut it when you got just a couple little pieces left Go ahead and utilize that. Do we have another 12 in here? Let's see. Yep, got another 12. So we'll make one more off of this one. Make no sense to not use it or throw it away when it have very little on there. And when it won't be that noticeable. Another buffalo check. Let's see how far it's gonna go. Or should we put it somewhere else? Because I don't know whether I'm gonna have enough. There's a good little amount on here. Now, what should I do? thinking I'm gonna go ahead and because well I can always do this outer you know let's go ahead let's go ahead with this it's not too bad in friend if we can do the middle all buffalo check then we will put some around on that outer section. Let's see, can we get this in this little piece? Nah, I think I'm going to have to add another Chanel stem.
like I told you, when you're adding a, another very long piece of Chanel stamp, that helps to, to lay that down even better. And it's a good thing if I can't see my other piece of tape, I can see the end of uh, this measurement. I can see it, but bring it down as close to as you can to get a good measurement. my bottom I think I need to call these around these citizens senior citizen homes first before I show up start uh, making a list Is it okay? Because you know, some organizations, they are funny with that, especially as I'm not used to going up in there. They could be funny in that way about accepting outside stuff from people they really don't know. So I have to call around first before I donate this. Just something big to put on their wall. Faith, family, and love. You know, it'll remind them of their faith, their family, and that they are loved. Y'all pray I have enough to go around for this intersection. And if I don't, it'll be okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so either. Wait, it's looking right now. And knowing me, I've been a went out, established what I wanted to look like. Been a went out and bought another one of these buffalo check things, just just to just to go around. See, that's what I've been doing in the first place. That's why I end up with all this in the first place. So I am not gonna go around and get nothing. But that would be cute. If I have enough to just to go around, but just that intersection. I'm getting further and further out on you guys, huh? Further and further out. Yeah, it's helping a lot though with this uh, intersection for the for the sign. That's really helping a lot.
do bus. And you want to keep your mesh down. You are not making ruffle with your mesh, so you want to keep it down. I think I'm gonna put one more more red uh, mesh around the outer ring because you want it the same height. You want your wreath the same height as you can see. This inner section is higher than the back section, so I got to even it up. Need another piece of Chanel stem right there. That's kind of, and I'm just grabbing Chanel stem just like the um, the mesh. I am using all colors of Chanel stems. Now let's find what we can get in there and add it. I think I'm gonna finish this today. I got to, I have some orders I need to fill that I got in last night. And I need to finish this today. I'm gonna have enough, which is okay. I just see can I find an, another piece of fabric as close to this as possible.
Maybe we stretch it a little bit. <laughs> Let's see, is this gonna work or do I need to go back one? it's gonna work you guys I think it's gonna work I had to make some little changing but I think it's gonna work bring it to the end as much as possible you utilize every little bit of it Sometimes you have to make things work for you. No, that don't look bad. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You know, like I told you, a lot of things, I'll just be doing stuff as I go along. Once I start making it and start seeing something that I'm liking... I go for it. Like I said, I like the staples better than this tape. Sometimes you have to be aggressive with this tape. ahead and zip tie before we cut it because you don't want to cut too much off and then we can't zip tie it that'll be kind of messed up Make sure you got it on that flat side. And I'm putting it around one ring so it'll be just that much tighter. Y'all hear the screech? That's what you want to hear. Now you're 
cut it. All right, so we got that center with the same color. That worked out really fine for us. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start doing the outer layer so it can even off with the inner layer. Let's try our sign now. Much better, much, much better. And I think I'm gonna put some clusters in between here too. So, this is part three. And when I come back, I'll be doing part four with you. And I think part four is going to be the end of the parts. So, I will see you guys a little later. All right. Talk to you in a few. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, share, thumbs up. Hit that bell so you know when I'm uploading or when I'm live. All right. Talk to you guys later.